Now, does this report actually put into question the efficacy of vaccines? To discuss that, we have San Lazaro Hospital Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Rogine uh, Solante. Dr. Solante, thank you for joining us, sir. Yes, uh, good evening, Robbie, and uh, good evening to our listeners and viewers. Uh, you now, Dr. Solante, of course, no vaccine maker uh, and no vaccine for that matter has ever been assured to be 100% effective. Uh, but notwithstanding that, what is the most important thing for the public to understand about these particular cases now being reported out of uh, Cebu? Yeah, uh, if you look at the chronology of the time that these two patients were vaccinated and they got the infection. So there is this window of vulnerability immediately after the vaccination because it will take time before the antibody that is being produced by this vaccine from our body will kick in in terms of uh, achieving that uh, level of protection. Mm -hmm. Okay, It may be two weeks, three weeks uh, after the vaccination and, and that's why it's very important that uh, you have to understand that after the vaccination, you have to be compliant with the health protocol. It doesn't mean that you are getting the vaccine, you will take off your mask, you will not practice physical mm. distance, no? Mm. Because that alone will, will only undermine the possibility that during that window of vulnerability, you might still get the infection, okay? So, this is, this is the, the, the process. This is how vaccine works. No, it will not give you immediately protection, but as you go along, weeks from the last dose of the vaccination, it continues to stimulate our mm. immune uh, system and then produce that antibody until such time we have a very good protection against the infection. So, so in other words, hindi pa po, it, it is possible na hindi pa nag-kick in yung full benefit and protection ng vaccine. We are not yet in a position to categorically say that in this particular case, hindi umubra yung vaccine. Yes, yes, definitely. No, In, in fact, that's what we always emphasize. Na pag nabakunahan ka na, isuot pa rin natin ng mask, hindi pa rin tayo pupunta doon sa mga mataong lugar at sa yung mga enclosed spaces dahil you are still vulnerable. No? You are still vulnerable. Okay, Dr. Solante from the San Lazaro Hospital in Manila. Maraming salamat po.